I'm Jonquilyn Hill and I'm a producer for 1A and I produced the show on makeup and diversity. We got into this show after kind of discussing the impact that Fenty Beauty had, noticing that more and more makeup brands were um, expanding their shade range, noticing the impact that YouTubers and Instagrammers were having on the multi-billion dollar makeup industry. Uh, so we decided to go ahead and have a conversation about it. I consume a lot of news. So for me, watching a YouTube tutorial on makeup is kind of an escape from a really long day from a grinding news cycle. So uh, we thought we'd take this chance to sort of uh, do our own version of that. So let's get started. I use Hourglass Foundation in Almond, and what I really like about it is that um, it's buildable. I don't have to use a lot of product um, to get the coverage I want, which I really like. So I'm gonna start off by just getting this on my face. So I went in to get matched, and I saw this, and I was like, there's no way that this matches. Um, but once I blend it out, it's perfect. Yeah, I think that that is pretty good. Next up, I am going to contour using these Fenty Beauty matchsticks. Uh, I really like them. One reason is because they do this. I do not contour every day because who has the time for that? Um, I'm sure there are people who do have the time for that, but I'm not one of them. I'm starting with my forehead. Uh, I think that I have a big forehead. I have friends who don't think I do. I do know that my forehead is not petite, so uh, we're just gonna shade here to kind of bring that on down. Had more bagels this week than I planned to, so we're gonna contour those bagels away. Next, I am going to do my eyebrows. Um, I feel like there are kind of a lot of eyebrow trends going on lately. Thick eyebrows are definitely having a moment. I use e.l.f. Um, brow pomade in dark. Um, e.l.f. is a really great drugstore brand. I like them a lot. My eyebrows are a little, they're not crazy right now. They're not at their optimum though. I often get them threaded. I don't really have like a set amount of time that I do to get them threaded, but when I feel like they've gotten kind of out of hand, I'll thread them. But again, like thick eyebrows are in, so I'm able to kind of go longer uh, than say I used to in the past back like a time we don't have to talk about. So this is like a brow gel, so I'm gonna go in here and kind of use it to um, get the hair on my eyebrows looking how I like to kind of have that. It's, it's known as model on the go makeup and I am not a model, but I am on the go, so I identify it with that sense. And next, I'm going to go in with a uh, highlighter. So this is also a Fenty matchstick in suede. I don't get a whole lot of sleep. I could definitely get more sleep than I do. So I have a little bit of dark circle and it kind of like is there to brighten the eye. But um, it ended up working out really well and it's summer. So like I'm a little darker anyway. So I'm just gonna go in here. Um, next, I'm going to go in with blush. This is another uh, Glossier product. I use the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dawn. It's kind of been my jam lately. I did not use Cloud Paint prior to the release of this color, but I liked the idea of orange blush and I had so many friends telling me how great it was. So I am going to just dab a little on the finger. And depending on my look, I'm going for what I'm doing with my face. I'll either do it on the apple of my cheek or a little kind of like where the contour begins higher on my cheekbone. Um, if I'm not wearing contour, if I'm going bare faced and just feel like putting on blush or uh, if I have on a tinted moisturizer, I'll do my apples. But since I have on contour and I kind of want that to pop, I'm gonna uh, kind of start it right here. 
All right, yeah, and that is pretty much the face. I saved my highlight for last for whatever reason. So um, next, I'm going to do my eyes. Because of the look that I've been going for lately, which is kind of this no makeup makeup look, I would just put on mascara and be done here and like go about my day. But you know, it's the weekend, so let's live it up a little. So I am going um, to do my eyes. I'm going to use the Dare to Create 39A Morphe palette, which is right here. And lately I've been into this kind of eyeshadow matching my blush thing. It's really kind of inspired by Rihanna at the 2017 Met Gala, where she was dressed like a giant flower and her cheeks matched her eyes. It's iconic and I can't get it out of my mind. Okay, and so after that, I'm going to go in with my brow bone, which is this one right here. Um, for me, that's a good brow bone color. It kind of, it's lighter than my skin tone. It has some warmth to it. I'm like neutral to warm with my undertones, so I'm just gonna go in here with this. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Passion to use as kind of like a transition on my lid. This is my typical transition color. Um, I like it because it can be good and professional for work or if you're going out, if you're going to church, if you're going to the grocery store. It's just an overall really good transition color. And then finally, I'm going to add a little depth by going in with a dark purple called Forever, which I really like. One of my New Year's resolutions was to learn how to do a cut crease. Um, not doing too great with that. My other New Year's resolution was to raise uh, my credit score. We're not gonna talk about that resolution either. You know, everything in due time, y'all. Everything in due time. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a gel liner. I'm a real big fan. Um, I'm using e.l.f. I am not picky. I'll use any brand of gel liner. Like I've used MAC, I've used e.l.f as long as I can get something dark on my eyelid. I'm gonna do my highlight next. I usually kind of save that for towards the end. Um, the Fenty Match Sticks came with a really great highlighter in cinnamon, but I'm going to use a highlight from another contour palette that I have uh, loved for a very long time. Um, so this is the Makeup Forever Professional contouring palette. Um, I believe it's their darkest one. So I'm going to go in here with this highlight. So I'll do like the tip of my nose and be sure to blend that in. And again, this is the thing you wanna make sure you blend. I'm not fantastic always at blending in my highlight. So it's a thing, it's a work in progress. It's a thing I'm working on. You wanna put on highlight wherever like your face catches the light, just to add some sparkle and shine. You go. And I'm gonna go into my tear duct a little bit with this highlight. Trial and error. I am going to put on mascara. Now mascara is something that a lot of people say is their favorite product, but it's the product I'm most likely to forget to put on. And people are like, how? It's amazing. But I don't know, I just forget it. Every time I do remember it though, I'm like, oh, I get it. I see why people do this. I understand. So that's good. I am a lipstick junkie. Like it's probably, like lipstick, lip gloss, are probably like my go-to products when we talk about favorite products. Like I could have a completely bare face and still want to put on a fun lip color. Um, I should not be into it. I remember when I was like 15, my mom bought me my first tube of lipstick and I was like, I look like a very sad clown. Please get this away from me. And it wasn't until college that I started getting into it again. And once I kind of found how to do it, I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to use my favorite red today, which is NYX, another uh, drugstore brand in Monte Carlo. I like this red because I don't have to use a liner with it. The thing about liner is 
especially like for what so i feel like an actual youtuber because my uh the storage on my device tried to get real cute with me in the middle of filming um i was talking about lip color and using liner on dark skin. I'm not opposed to using a liner at all. My go-to liner is probably Moth, Night Moth from MAC, um, just because it's dark, it creates a good transition. I've also heard good things about chestnut, um, but I don't feel like using a liner today, so I'm gonna use a product that doesn't need a liner. Again, NYX in Monte Carlo. So we're just gonna do a cute little red lip real quick. Whoop, there it is, yeah. I'm a big fan of that. So I'm just gonna spray my face with some setting spray so that I don't melt all over the place because it's very hot and humid in DC. We live in a swamp. All right, I am set to go and I am gonna uh, go enjoy someone's roof because it's very sunny out. Uh, thanks so much and uh, thank you for listening to 1A. I really appreciate it. We really appreciate it.